It's Thursday, February 9th, and in case you are unaware of this, Ellery beat Emerson in chopsticks, and we were really concerned about it. Not even a little bit. Uh, let's see. As we get into it, uh, Camp Friends List is now locked and done. I'm in the process of building groups. If you need to make a change, you can. It just costs you B points. Just come talk to me at some point. Let me know what change needs to be made, or if you did not submit it, and we can make that happen. We are back to secret word speeches tomorrow, round three. So we'll sorry, get into that, so make sure you bring green sheet and pen. Those of you who did Honor Society, you should find out next Thursday. So that is what we are aiming for, so right before we have your e-learning day. Yeah. Again, speech is coming up on Tuesday, where at some point you have to read directions and know what you're doing, or not, and make it more fun. Uh, I'm happy either way. And then again, those of you who are Honor Society kids, the other kids, thank you for so bravely volunteering to go. Just like tomorrow when we get to the secret word speech, Honor Society kids volunteer because you're leaders. When people are about to die, you run into it first, and everyone knows speeches are equal to death questions as far as speeches and or death goes. Uh, so did we get to we, were, uh, we got we through side. Side. we got and through side we got yes. that was four so we've not gotten to this one yet. Yeah, we can get Sweet. Harpy. So yeah. oh, we're beginning Greek mythology and so my little intro we think to is I put random Greek mythology words up there and they're trying to figure out if it's a god place thing or just other stuff. And then I get to give them like little explanations I go into it, little teasers. And we've only done this like a, kind of like a day and a quarter, but we're gonna see how much they remember just from me spouting random babble at them. So we're gonna do a little test. Starting off with, where does chaos go? Everywhere. 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 Nicely done, because what was chaos? Everything. Everything. Big swirling. Everything. Oh, chocolate pudding. Chocolate pudding. Chocolate pudding. Yeah. Just keep saying everything to all the answers. <laughs> but yes, big swirling ball of pudding, and it was everything. And then we got to Cronus. God. Uh, God. Boy. What's the correct spelling of Cronus? S Cronus. Cronus. That sounds it like all different versions. Cronus. I thought you were going to say everything. I was all excited. Oh. There he goes. As long as it looks like Cronus of some kind. Ooh. Do you remember the name of the weapon he uses to kill his father? Yes. Oh, nicely done. And it, it is in Fortnite. Nicely done. And let's do it too. No, we don't. My regular class, there was another Fortnite weapon that popped up, but you guys have different words, so awesome. I know, sadness. Hades, two Emo. categories. And, God. 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 and was he evil? No, no. he Emo. was. Emo. Emo. Nicely done. Ooh. Do you remember the name of the river that was in his kingdom? Yes, River Sticks. Sticks. And so he would. Did you just say Hydra? No, I said I got that right. Oh, good job. I thought you just yelled, Hydra! I was like, I thought we were going like full Captain America for a second. We're going to get to that later. We are going to get to that. Shh. Um, oh, oh, what was the fear if you said his name? He would be here. Here. So what is the nickname? Oh, what's the name of the place where he lives? Underworld. Officially it is... Hades. Under, under what? Hades. <laughs> the official name is Hades. Oh. That's and then the nickname is... Underworld. And the kids who struggle are me, Alex. Alex. Yeah, Everyone. just Alex. Way to call him out. And where do Titans go? God. God. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Uh, ooh, uh, what is another name for Titans? God. Oh. Nice and I think that covers it from there. Uh, Vulcanize goes in. Other oh. stuff. Other stuff. It's to melt some... something to make it stronger. It doesn't. <laughs> Melting it to make it stronger, specifically connected to rubber. rubber. Oh, good job, you see me on that one. Oh, what god does vulcanize come from? You almost got through part of that eight times. Uh, so we'll go with Hephaestus, or whatever Cora almost kind of said. Um, how is it connected to Hephaestus? He's he's metal and burning and fire. Burning and fire. So exactly. How is Vulcan connected to Hephaestus? That's the Roman name. I was going for the Roman name. Ellery said it first. Good I job, Ellery, who said it first. It's because oh, yeah. she's so good at chopsticks. And then we'll get to Pandora. God. God. Technically a god, although nowadays it also refers to the box, yeah. the box, or the music, the jar, the music, and the jar, and, and it the, also refers to 
I the can't glory. Say the jewelry store that and awesome. the planet and all these other I'm things. I'm not gonna say that. Ooh, let's see. Do you remember what pan means? Many, Many gifts. gifts. And Dora? Gifts. Dora, the explorer. Got it. And small Hispanic girl who plays with monkeys. Narcissist? <laughs> Nymph. Nymph. It's a, it's a god. god. There you go. And then we got, uh, also that's all we have with him. He wasn't there. That's was good. Enough. Blah, blah. Sticks? Place. Place. And? Things. 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 What? What? Place. Oh, I got it right. Starts oh, off as a place. Sticks. What was Sticks before it was a place? A person. A person. A person. A person. What was wrong with her as a person? A very very toxic and poisonous. Sticks. I get to there. And you said we got through Scythe? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's our Fortnite battle pass. Alright. We have not gotten to Harpy yet, correct? Yes. Okay. So now we'll have a moment to figure out where we're going to put Harpy. So we'll go with God, Place, Thing, Other Stuff. And here's where it gets iffy. I don't really consider Harpy a thing, and they weren't technically considered gods, so I put it into other stuff, but I can understand the idea. So the Greeks had a whole bunch of things that were half human, half critter. Uh, and so you have things like a mermaid, that was from Greek mythology, which was half human, half fish. Yes, fish. There you go. Harpy is in that same category. A harpy was half woman. They were always woman. Women, plural. And they were also always ugly women. And then the other half, the harpy was? Bird. Nicely done. So they were always half bird, half ugly woman. And so the torso and head was ugly woman, and then they had bird feet and then bird arms. And so they were scary and they screeched. They had a horrible ah! sound. And so there's also the term you can use if you call someone a harpy. Um, it is not a compliment. Um, I recommend when you go home tonight and your mom yells that dinner is ready, you go, thanks, Harpy. Uh, and if you say it in a friendly enough tone, she may have no idea what you're saying. Uh, but typically it was an insult for uh, old women who would yell at you because they sound like a harpy because they would scream. So that is your way of trying to sneak. Unless your mom watches my videos, then, hi, Mom. Uh, but otherwise, you can call your mom a harpy with a smile and maybe get away with it. Or <laughs> learn to run. Channel your inner Hermes as you're sprinting away from her and she's trying to hit you with something. All right, let's go with Uranus. Your head. Thank you. Thank you. Let's guys. go with, it goes in two categories. So you have a 50-50. God, place, thing, other stuff. If you look on little white sheet with your family tree, right below chaos is going to be also, over there above Swanky, where you have Chaos, we have Gia and Uranus. They were the first two gods to be born. I am going to pronounce them the Greek way, which is Gia and Uranus. But I've been teaching junior high a long time, and I fully understand that most of you are going to pronounce it the seventh grade way. Instead of calling it Gia, you're going to say... Gaia. Gaia. Instead of Uranus, you're going to say? Uranus. So this is where most kids fall in love with Greek mythology when you realize the first power couple of Greek mythology was named Gaia Uranus. And for some reason, that's what causes kids to giggle. I've just come to accept it. I will continue to say Gaia and Uranus, and every time I do, you're going to go <laughs> and just giggle in your heads, and I've accepted it. You can sort of think of it as a maturity check. At some point, you're going to reach a point in your life where you can go Gaia, Uranus, and just keep a straight face. But it may be a while before right you now. get there. For some of you, it may be high school. <laughs> Others, you college. Some of you may be on your deathbed just going, <laughs> you're right, and just never make it. But that's sort of that way we're just going to get used to. Gaia and Uranus. I've learned to just make a big deal of it now, and then we can move on with it. Ish. Next up, Caron. C H A R O N. Oh, right. Caron. God, place, thing, other stuff. Caron, connected to the river Styx. He was the guy who took you across on a little boat. Oh, and so he he is, so he's was the boatman of the underworld. He's the, he's the boatman. He, he's sort of like the Italian guy that puts the little thing. Yes. There you go. Same guy. And so that was Caron. Which can be confusing because there's another Greek god named Chiron with an I as opposed to an 
A, and he's a completely different person. It's like having a Tom and a Tim. Uh, so you have to make sure you don't get the two of them confused. And Chiron helped uh, with Hercules and stuff like that. Minotaur. I know what this is. Good I job. Project on this in third grade. Everyone knows what this Sounds is. normal. God, place, thing, other stuff. Minotaur is like a harpy. It's one of those half creatures. So half man, half close. That's a centaur. Bull. One, donkey it was dead. fun listening to how happy you said donkey, uh, but no, it is not half donkey. Uh, you just uh, the next one. That's Cow called me. a Shrekatar, uh, and that one's half donkey. Uh, but a Minotaur is bottom half is no. human. No, not a goat either. Minotaur. But again, you guys fish. are really Minotaur. 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 We're not auctioning farm animals. I love it. Farm animal. Depends on if you are your SpongeBob. Thank you. Okay. And so here, Minotaur, bottom half man, Alex. What? Alex. You said you did a third grade project. It's like a bowl. Good job. Wait. Why Alex? Why would you call him Alex? Because that's his name. No, it's, no, not. it's not. Sorry, Shawls. I did not know I was going to get called out. How <laughs> shameful of my Alex. Alex. <laughs> Alex. No, that's Alex. That's you know Alex. How, that's you know how many, you know how many oh, times yeah. I've said his first name? No. Now, twice. Day oh. one oh. and now. So we're going to go back to Shawls. How embarrassing for one of us. So again, top half bull, head bull, oh. bottom half all human. Which does take us to the next one, for those of you who paid attention. is going to be in that same category. It's a thing from Harry Potter. Thing from Harry Potter. This is where we have top half human, bottom half or, or some kind of a donkey. Just a donkey. Horse. Top half human, bottom half horse on that one. They showed up in the Narnia, uh, was one, uh, Percy, Jackson. Percy Jackson, also a Harry Potter. They're much more common. Minotaur definitely showed up in Percy Jackson and some of the other ones and stuff like that. All right. Tartarus, tartar us, not tartar sauce. That's what SpongeBob yells when he loses his jellyfish on the farm. Tartar sauce. But tartar us. Let's go with. God, place, thing, other stuff. You can put your hand down. If you're sitting in this area and you didn't say place, you should feel ashamed because there's literally a poster right next oh. to you oh. that says Tartarus. See, I can't, I can't look to my Yeah, that neck. So Tartarus was a place in the underworld that they used to torture people. It was sort of their version of kind of like hell, but not really. It's but we'll get to it. Yes. So Tartarus was a place of torture. It was behind her. Let's go to Olympus. I know this is. Oh, I know that. Oh, oh, oh. I'm taking Find out. what this is. God, place, thing. All right, then how about this? What do you call a titan who lives on Olympus? An Olympian. How many Olympians are there? So here's your hint. These right here are half the Olympians. These right over here. Good job. So there are only ever 12 Olympians at any one time. And so an Olympian is a titan who lives up on Mount Olympus. So the way to think about it is this. There are a lot of 7th graders at our school, but not all of them get to be heroes. Only the ones that are in my team are heroes. Same thing with the Olympians. There were thousands of Titans, but only numbers. 12 of them got to be the Olympians. So there are hundreds of 7th graders, but only 120 cool kids, cool-ish kids, get to be the heroes. And so that's sort of the same way with Olympians and the Titans. Every Olympian is a Titan. Not every Titan is Olympian. Every hero is a 7th grader. Not every 7th grader is a hero. Some of them are that other team. I mean, that is is it, it, Let's go to Epimetheus. We'll go with God, yes. place, thing, other stuff. Epimetheus was the god of dum-dums. Um, and yes, they had a god of idiots. There's also a god of smart people, his twin brother Prometheus. But I gave you guys Epimetheus because I figured there's a chance some of you guys need a new god to pray to. So we're going to go ahead and throw him out there to help you out. 
You pray to him by just running into a wall repeatedly uh, and yelling his name. And then he comes and you summon him. Like the stress reduction? That's the one. That's how you summon him. <sighs> Sater. God. Place. Thing. Other stuff. Well done. Goes into the same other stuff category. Uh, it's, like the from the North it's the North. centaur, minotaur, harpy, mermaid oh category. Satyr is half man, half Banana. goat. Mermaid. Half goat is Banana. correct. Oh. Not see so Over funny. here behind Caleb, that's Pan, who's the most famous. Top half man, bottom half goat. If you've seen um, the Hercules, there's one in there. The Hercules cartoon with the blue flame hair dude. Yes, he's the one that helps. He's the guy. Percy Bill. Jackson. He's Percy's best friend. Who oh. has like has like the fake legs? He then yeah, takes off and reveals himself. Like himself. Uh, this is the beginning of a movie. Uh, then also in Narnia, uh, Mr. Phil or Philip. Or, anyway, he's oh, in Narnia too. The little, guy. The little goat guy there. So satyrs pop up quite. A bit. And our last one, Atropo. Oh, Atropo. Atropo was in uh, Harry Potter. And oh, wait, no, not Harry Potter. Um, the Percy Jackson. Oh, oh, and the uh, Hercules movie with the blue flame. There are atropos there, too. So let's go with God, place, thing, other stuff. Atropo had two sisters, Clotho, Lachesis, Atropo. They were the three fates who controlled how long people lived. Yes, God. So in Percy Jackson, they drove the taxi and they shared the eyeball. Yeah, in that, like, uh, in the, the Blue Flame movie, movie. Yeah, exactly. they were the three sisters that tried to cut the string to and try and kill work. Hercules, and it didn't work. So we're going to get into the story about them. Atropo was considered the scariest sister because she's the one that cut the string, which we're going to find out. Unlike the movie, it does not kill you. Cutting the string actually made you born. So cutting the string brought you to life. It did not kill you. I know. It's cool. It's shocking to think that Disney may have lied to you with fake information. But get used to it. There's a lot of that stuff. So now we have our little introduction to it. Monday, we're going to start going through Blue Sheet and finally getting a chance to do work and making you have to use brain and thinking and stuff like that. And we'll get there. Tomorrow, we get to do speechy thing. Now, we're going to do a talky thing. Home children, you don't get to see our talky thing because you're dead. So come back to life. Or not. Or if you're home this week because you're trying to skip my mustache, I understand. Come back to life on Monday. It'll probably be gone. Or... I'm going to put a googly eye right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.